we're going to take our time with mobility, spend about 10 minutes, we're going to do some foam rolling. From there, we're going to determine what kind of exercises you specifically need, personally, um, maybe more so than anybody else. Um, and then we'll get into our warm up. Does that make sense? So we're kind of good at using a foam roller. We're going to go through like an overview, just a little bit of everything. Guys at home, if you don't have a foam roller, start with the world's greatest stretch. If you do have a foam roller, let's just get on the foam roller. We're going to do a little like once over. Take this time to figure out what you need today. Let's get rocking. 10 minutes, slow build up. We're doing something called an AM wrap. AM wrap means almost an AM wrap. You're not going as fast as possible. You're not trying to get as many rounds as possible in, but you're trying to let yourself build up. It is conditioning week, so we know we, it gets pretty, pretty dicey, pretty, uh, pretty spicy toward the end. But our first exercise is gonna be a bear crawl kick through. So bear crawl position here, kick that hip through, try to keep your hip underneath that shoulder. Okay, back to center. As you start getting more warmed up, you'll be able to keep your hips closer to your shoulder. In the beginning, you may be way out here. You don't want that much of a space in between your shoulder and your hip. But as you get more loose, you're gonna keep that hip closer to that shoulder. Make sense? Doing two each side. Guys at home, band pull apart. Start at the top this time. Okay, and you're pulling down behind your neck. Cool, so it's up here, pulling down, trying to activate all of your lats and also open up your shoulders. Med ball jumping jacks. Okay. All right, let's rock and roll in uh, three, two, go to work. All right, guys, here are your four exercises. You guys are gonna do something different in house for that first one. This is uh, for the at home folks. Um, Felicia, we're in conditioning week, obviously. Speaking directly to you because everybody else has been here. It's going to be four exercises. Every minute on the minute, you're going to increase your reps. So you're going to get less and less rest as we get closer and closer to our fifth round, right? So we're doing five rounds of each exercise and then moving on to the next. Okay? So pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, first exercise at home, folks. Renegade rows. Keep that core nice and tight. Squeeze your glutes. Back is nice and flat. <clears throat> Challenge for you guys to keep that core tight the whole entire time. You're doing five, adding five each time. You guys are gonna do jumping pull-ups. Kettlebell swings. Pushing your hips back, folding over your waist. We're gonna learn how to park this kettlebell and pick it up and not just be uh, flopping it around. So, Easy way to do that, push your hips back, fold over as if you're doing a deadlift, and then tip that kettlebell towards you. That's gonna help keep your back flat when you're doing the swing, believe it or not. This is kinda like, see my rib cage lift up? So that's gonna keep my lats engaged, and I'm gonna hike that kettlebell to my zipper area, and obviously from there I'm gonna start my swings, right? When you're done, right back down, pick it up, one, hips go back, and that kettlebell comes forward, and you can park it nice and easy each time, okay? Just learning how to move the kettlebell around with efficiency. Next up, sumo deadlift high pull. So you're gonna rotate those hips out, keep your knees over your ankles. Hips are higher than your knees. Deadlift, high pull. Elbows are up nice and high, wrist close to the chin, okay? You wanna think about pulling from your upper back. We're doing five first set, adding three each time. Last exercise, hop, hop, squat, hop, hop, squat, hop, hop, squat. We're doing five, adding five each time. That's it for your work period. I'm gonna give you a two minute rest. And then I'm gonna suggest that we all use two dumbbells today for our Roman sit-ups. Keeping those dumbbells directly above your shoulder, you have more, more opportunity to get your shoulders stronger as far as stability goes, okay? Big exhale on the way up, keep those dumbbells directly above your head, 
and down one vertebrae at a time. Try not to let those shoulders drop. It's gonna be easier if you let them drop, but you're gonna be more efficient when you keep them above your head, okay? That's gonna be for our finisher. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. And then we're gonna do Russian twist as our second exercise. Don't have to use the weight. Simply lean back. If you wanna get your heels up off the ground, rotate your upper body.